Welcome to Divine Lotus Tarot. We are going to take a look at who is doing black magic on your finances. But before we get into that, I want to welcome and invite you all to book a personal private session with me through my website www.divinelotustarot.com and you can find the link to that website in the box below this video. Also, I want to invite you all to subscribe and follow me on my other social media accounts, which you will be able to find the links and the information for that in the box below this video as well too. We're going to get into who is doing black magic on your finances, starting with the zodiac sign of Sagittarius and ending with the zodiac sign of Scorpio. So we're going to go through each of the 12 zodiac signs in order from Sagittarius to Scorpio. And if you have significant placements of any of the zodiac signs in your birth chart, feel free to watch each of those. I also just want to um, include the fact that we're specifically looking at those of you who are having black magic done on your finances where it is completely unwarranted. And when I say unwarranted, I mean it's unjust, it's unnecessary, and these could be individuals that you don't even know or individuals that you don't even think about and you're not trying to worry about stopping their money or their finances um, from flowing in. So that is what I mean, just to be clear um in regards to who specifically we are looking at that's being um impacted by this black magic so let's go ahead and get into the reading so those of you with significant placements of sagittarius in your birth chart we have the chariot energy and the seven of swords so there is a very strong presence of someone who is a cancer um, who is doing this um, I also have the energy of air just coming up so it could be other individuals with significant placements of air in their birth chart um, strong cancer strong Gemini energy um, and the zodiac signs that I'm also picking up is Aries Aquarius Gemini and Taurus now keep in mind as well too these individuals could definitely be these sun signs and or they could have these placements in their birth chart okay so first and foremost what I'm also getting is that um, this could be an aunt energy so this could be your aunt someone else's aunt or someone you view as an aunt I'm getting middle age, middle age energy of the individuals and up that could be involved in this situation and then I'm also getting um, a co-worker energy a co-worker energy so this could be individuals who you actually work with or individuals in similar or related fields or industries that you are in um, this also could potentially be for some of you individuals who want to work with you okay so what I'm also picking up is when it comes to some of you all you have a group of individuals who are all doing this together and um, in that instance it feels like the cancer energy is the individual who is initiating and leading that so it's almost like the cancer is the puppet master and all these other individuals are their minions working on their behalf to do this for you or do this for the the cancer individual or whoever has this very strong significant placement of cancer in their birth chart so it's like the cancer is pulling the strings and these other individuals are um, essentially their little minions okay for some of you as well this cancer individual is another spiritualist um, that could be doing this for those of you who work in that field um, but besides that um, I'm just getting that in an in instance this cancer could be someone who is in depth in the occult the esoteric um, someone who may be perceived as being psychic or does the work in that field so this also could be someone who is being essentially solicited by other individuals to do this work on your finances on the behalf of other individuals who essentially have um, paid this individual to do this to you so some individuals are doing this for free because I'm seeing there's a lot of envy jealousy around the situation they also thought that they would not get caught 
So that's the reason why I'm seeing that these individuals are doing it. And then in the other instance, like I said, this individual has been solicited um, and they're being paid to do this. So that's their whole reason for doing this towards you. And I will um, just also include, I do see the energies of individuals um, where this is like people in the same work related industry or field as you um they're just trying to block your progress i was getting this energy of like someone pulling someone back so they could get ahead so this is the, essentially the energy of that um either this is someone who is doing this work themselves on you and could potentially be having other individuals who are their minions work and do this towards you as well too because they're trying to pull you back so they could get ahead so they feel that your progress impedes them from having some type of progress and then um that's one thing and then the other thing that i'm seeing is mental illness is definitely playing a part in this situation because i feel like some of the individuals that are being utilized as puppets in the situation definitely have some type of mental illness and whoever is the puppet master in the situation they're playing off of that to get these individuals to do this towards you so it's giving very strong um, crabs and the barrel energy whoever these energies are um, there's also family energy here so these also could be other family members of yours um, there's energy of these could be people from like your neighborhood your home um, like your home your community where you grew up with um, as well too is what I'm getting but essentially the main reason is essentially these people are envious and jealous of you those who are not actually being compensated and employed to do this um, like I said those individuals who are being compensated for it they're strictly just thought they wouldn't get caught this is what they do and you know that's that but these individuals um, that actually have a personal problem with your progress and your ability of achieving success they have a crabs and a barrel ghetto mentality and the fact that you are being successful at what you do and they see that you're actually successful they feel that they need to sabotage what you're doing um, in order to make you either lose faith in yourself or to try to um, sabotage opportunities that you could get um through potentially lying slandering gossiping about you to individuals that may want to work with you or give you opportunities and try to make you look unworthy or um, discredit you in some manner to negatively impact your finances Moving on to those of you with significant placements of Capricorn in your birth chart. We have the Seven of Pentacles and the Page of Cups. So the individuals doing black magic on your finances may have significant placements of Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn in their birth chart. We also have the zodiac sign of Sagittarius here. The energies we have coming up is it could be an aunt, someone you look at as an aunt or someone else's aunt. It could be someone who you have a baby girl with, okay? Um, it could be someone who is your daughter, someone you look at as like a daughter or someone um, else's daughter or someone you have a daughter with. It could be an ex of yours or an ex of someone who you've been with or who you are currently with. It could be someone who you are currently going through a divorce with. It could be an uncle, someone you look at like an uncle or someone else's uncle. It could be someone who you are married to or another married couple it could be your boyfriend someone else's boyfriend or whoever you are in the role of being a boyfriend to 
It could be your wife, someone else's wife. Okay. It could be other males in general. And then it could be someone who is pre middle age. Okay. So what I'm seeing is Okay, so what I'm also picking up for some of you is um, these could be also individuals who are like blue collar individuals. Um, is what I'm getting. I'm getting like these are individuals that work really hard to make money, but they feel like they don't get the rewards, the recognition or the payout or compensation that you are receiving in some manner so these are individuals who feel like you know they work really hard really diligently and they still haven't seen it pay off for them but it seems like for you in some manner you seem to get things very easily so for some of you it could be because of who your parent is okay um, it could also be because some of you they feel like because of your looks they feel like just because of your looks you your um, financial situation is better um, or you just get opportunities more so because of your looks um, but whatever it is they feel like you are either talentless or you don't really um, have a lot of experience as well too so this may be a situation where maybe you came into some type of industry um with these individuals and you just maybe moved up very quickly okay and they feel like they had been working there for a long time and that they didn't get that same type of um opportunity to be like promoted or things of that nature so either you came into an industry and you moved up really quickly or you came into an industry and you were already like the shit basically you know what i'm saying um so that could be that as well too but i feel like for a lot of you they just feel like you get things very easily like you don't have to work hard for what you get and that you don't have a lot of experience or you don't have the talent to be getting paid the amount that you're getting paid essentially I'm also seeing as well for some of you that these could be individuals. Yeah, I see a lot of these individuals. They have like, um, I'm getting seething. They have like repressed feelings and emotions in regards to you and the money that you have. So these could be people who like resent you is what I'm getting. Because it feels like you have it easy. Like it feels like you have an easy life and that things have just blown up for you or you like your finances have just like expanded like very quickly in some type of manner and I feel like this hurts other individuals feelings yeah these could be people who secretly want to be you as well too and then I'm also seeing that these could be people who are from the past who are like exes or crushes who had crushes on you as well too next for those of you with significant placements of Aquarius in your birth chart we have the two of wands and the prince of swords so it could be individuals with significant placements of fire in their birth chart um, I also was getting the energy of strong Aries strong Scorpio energy I also have the energies here of it could just be someone who is single so this could just be a random ass single person or a random ass single people um, or someone who is now single due to you not being with them actually it could be someone who is single who is jealous of a partnership that you are in or that you are about to come in we have a new lover so this could be someone who you are newly in love with or newly involved with 
um, we have other relatives so this would be like nieces nephews cousins and other extended family members we have a father this could be your father someone else's father someone you look at like a father we have a brother here this could be your brother someone else's brother someone you look at or consider a, like a brother we have a girlfriend energy here so this could be your girlfriend someone else's girlfriend or whoever you are in the role of a girlfriend too we have um also someone who is like in their later middle age type of energy and then we have it's complicated and further looking into the it's complicated energy i feel like wh whoever these individuals are where it's complicated these potentially could have been individuals who you actually did not know had problems with you um and actually individuals who you were either like seeing yourself as having like healthy relationships with this could be people who you see regularly and i feel like it's complicated because they didn't realize the negative impact like how far it would go and they allowed ego pride and money to get in their way and now i feel like it's complicated because for some of them um it's has severed the relationship that you have with them so this could be people who you no longer have relationships with or you're no longer able to um allowing to have access to you or they they're just they don't have access to you anymore besides that what i'm also seeing is that um it could be other people who you work with um such as maybe like your employers or other employees that um don't want you in the position that you're in essentially or just other individuals who want to make it very difficult for you to be able to continue to make money okay okay so for some of you okay there's a few things coming through for some of you these are individuals who you've told no to so in that instance because you told these individuals no they don't like to be rejected they don't like to be told no this is why they are employing these type of tactics on your finances and others of you there are individuals who feel like you have more money than you than you say okay or that you just make very uh yeah that you have more money than what you're saying that you have um or that you make money very like easily in some type of way um there's another instance because i was hearing sugar daddy so for some of you they see you as um like a sponsor or some shit like that or they just see you as someone who's easy to like get money from so you could be someone who's very generous and um like to spoil the people who you are in relationships with or that you're attracted to or that you're having sex with or whatever and they saw you as someone essentially who was like easy to get money from so yeah i just feel like some of these individuals just felt like they needed to be very forceful especially the individuals who you've told no that they that you're not going to give them any money um yeah, they just felt they needed to take this forceful type of tactic to get their way, essentially. So for those of you who have significant placements of Pisces in your birth chart, we have the Queen of Swords and the Four of Cups. So this could be someone who has um, very strong Libra placements. We also have the zodiac signs of Gemini, Aquarius scorpio um this also could include an ex so your ex or someone else's ex um it could be someone who you are divorced from or a divorced person um it could also include someone who's grieving a loss and i'm hearing this could be someone who is grieving a recent loss and then there is also someone who is in their later middle age energy so these are the energies that are doing this black magic tactic to your finances. 
Okay, so what I'm getting is I'm, I'm getting wounded masculine energy here. And I'm also getting someone who feels like it's justified for the measures and the tactics that they've done using black magic to um, affect your finances is justified okay is what I'm getting I'm also getting an entitled energy so this could also be people who feel like they are just entitled to what you have um, but because we did have X energy and then we also had divorced energy um, it could be a situation where maybe in some instances for some of you all you did not want to like reconnect with these individuals and have a, another relationship with them so because you made that choice you could have hurt someone's feelings or hurt someone's pride and in their mind they felt like this would be the best form of retaliation or payback on you so that's for a few of you but besides that there's something that you did that slighted or hurt someone's ego or pride but it still doesn't equate to the need to use black magic in this manner okay so that's really what I'm seeing for you all so for those of you with significant placements of Aries in your birth chart we have the four of Pentacles and the strength card coming up so you may have individuals who have significant placements of Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn placements in their birth chart. Um, so earth sign energies. Um, we also have the energies of, we have a mother energy. So this could be your mother or someone else's mother or someone you look at like a mother. We have a father. So this could be your father, someone else's father, someone you look at like a father. Um, we have brother energy. This could be your brother or someone else's brother or someone you see as a brother. We have a girlfriend energy. This could be an, an, uh, your girlfriend, someone else's girlfriend, or someone who you are in the role of a girlfriend to. Um, we have females. Okay. We have teenagers. <laughs> We have young adults and we have elders, okay? Okay, so for some of you all, I feel this may pertain to the individuals who could be your family members doing this because we had a lot of family members for y'all come up. So for some of y'all, some of y'all family members don't have a pot to piss in and their ego and their pride will not allow them to just ask you directly for assistance. So they rather stoop to using black magic to essentially get you to give them money. Now for others of you, you could have family members or just other individuals who they just don't want to spend their own money. So they could very well have money to take care of themselves or do whatever they need to do. They just want to finesse you out of your money so they don't have to spend theirs. Now, in another instance, what I'm getting is in whatever your career field and industry is, there's individuals that want to negatively impact your career status or your career reputation is what I'm getting. Because these could be individuals who feel like their career will be able to be like Like, like it can make a comeback or something like that if they impact your career. So they'll be able to make a comeback is what I'm getting. Like, yeah, there, it, or that it, it's going to <laughs> miraculously improve their career by them negatively speaking bad about you is what I'm seeing. So it's, there's something directly tied to either individuals use your name to speak negatively about you to impact your opportunities that either come to you or they use your name to essentially like for clout essentially. Um, and then also I'm seeing with the, the hard ability to communicate could be 
like in instances where these are family members these could be people who you have very strained relationships with it could be very difficult for you to talk to these people it's either like they talk every time you and these individuals talk it could be like clashing like you may end up in arguments with these individuals um or it could be people who you just don't like to talk to but i'm also seeing like whoever these people are in general family friends whoever they may be in your work industry whatever i feel like these people don't like you essentially and they just want to make it hard for you so they almost feel like it's their duty to like make it difficult for you and then lastly uh, i'm also just seeing because these individuals may be like going through their own personal karma is what i'm seeing um essentially they're going through personal karma for whatever they're going through karma for maybe for fucking with you or fucking with other people and essentially they're blaming you for that so yeah next so for those of you with significant placements of Taurus in your birth chart, we have the Ace of Pentacles, we have the Queen of Cups. So this could be an individual who has significant placements of Earth in their birth chart. So Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo placements. We also have the Zodiac energies of Taurus here, Scorpio, Sagittarius. Um, we also have the energies of a secret admirer or someone who has a secret crush on you. Mm. We got a husband energy, so it could be your husband or someone else's husband. We have friends and associates energy. So these could be your friends or associates or the friends and associates of other individuals who would have some interest in doing black magic on your finances and then we got co-workers so this could be people who you work with or people just in the same industry as you or it could be someone who wants to work with you because we do have a secret crush energy here as well too or yeah secret crush secret admire so this could be someone who wants to work with you and then we also have a uh, young adults and individuals who are um, middle age and up. Oh, and we got the energy of Aries here. Didn't see that. Yeah, so Aries as well. And just the way that that Aries one was hiding, whoever is the secret crush of yours, who the secret admirer is, they could be a, a, the Aries individual. Okay, what I'm seeing is for some of you, these could be individuals who you surround yourself with that may be like opportunists, um, is what I'm seeing. So these could be new people that you come, so for some of you, these are new people who you come into contact with that either want to work with you, that want to befriend you, or that have some type of romantic interest in you. So for some of you, these are new people who are around you. For others of you, these could be just people who you have been around um, or that you regularly deal with. And they just see you as someone who um, is very, I'm getting naive. They see you as someone who's very naive and um, impressionable. Now for some of you as well too, these could be individuals that whatever you do or whatever field you work in these could be people that see you as the individuals that could make them pop so that's also that opportunist energy it's like they feel like if they can manipulate the opportunity to maybe work with you um in some form or fashion then it's going to make them more significant or make them pop or make them relevant or something like that or just bring them more money into their life or more opportunities or something like that and then others of you you could be like a sugar mama or have a reputation for being a sugar mama is what i'm picking up for some of y'all i'm getting sugar mama energy but i mean it could be sugar mama or sugar daddy some of y'all could have a reputation is what i'm getting 
like this is what people talk about you as being known for um so that could be that as well too that people are playing on this fact that um that you have a very i want to say generous nature but it's due to you wanting love that's what it looks like it looks like you want love so you could be very generous with those who you love like when you fall in love okay and then for others of you what i'm seeing as well too you have people who like play on your they play on your emotions they play on your feelings maybe some of you have um like a very significant water placements or you have a very like even if you're a male like you're very maternal like you have a very maternal type of instinct okay so these could be individuals um that know how to play on your heartstrings and give you like fake sob stories in order to get you to give money to them because they know that you will not say no to them it's almost like you can't say no to a sad story so these are people as well too who are using like manipulative tactics to get money from you and take advantage of your kindness for weakness is what I'm seeing oh and that's another thing and these are people who would th these would be people like I said that you regularly like deal with or are regularly around in some form or fashion so these these are people that you see often in some way or form or fashion so you would either be around them often or come into contact with them like regularly and they they know that you're going to do this or that you can't say no or at least that that's why they've done the black magic on your finances so you can't so Okay, next, for those of you who have significant placements of Gemini in your birth chart, we have the Five of Swords and the Judgment energy. So this could be individuals with significant placements of air in their birth chart. Uh, Aries individual, we have another Gemini. Um, we have Aquarius, we have Virgo, we have Pisces. We have young individuals um we got teenagers we have females we have a girlfriend this could be your girlfriend someone else's girlfriend someone who you are in the role of a girlfriend too we have brother energy it could be your brother someone you look at like a brother someone else's brother father energy this could be your father someone else's father someone you see as a father figure husband energy your husband or someone else's husband mother energy your mother someone else's mother um or someone you look at like a mother we have friends and associates this could be yours or friends of associates of these individuals who have interest in doing this towards you um your finances and then we got co-workers so these could be people who you actually work with or people who work in the same type of field or industry as you so right away i'm getting very strong energy where there is some of you who have someone who you had a relationship with in the past so this could be an ex or some type of relationship for some of you this was a marriage um or just some type of long-term relationship that you have with an individual where they feel like this is your karma um they feel they have a right to do this because they feel like essentially these are individuals who don't want to let you go is what i'm seeing um they don't want to see you move on and be happy and be successful um in your career is what i'm seeing I feel like someone is trying to make it very difficult for you to be like have some sense of routine so they're trying to um impact your finances in this manner they're also trying to impact your love and romance life i'm seeing by doing this so maybe by them throwing off your finances they know that you won't have time to focus on love and romance which is their goal um, or maybe they feel like if you are broke that someone's not going to want to be with you. Um, but through it all, I'm seeing these individuals still want to resolve and work things out with you. So I 
I feel also these are individuals going on smear campaigns against you. So they want people to look at you in a negative light. So where this impacts not only your finances, but like all things pertaining to you. So it's like someone is trying or, or these individuals could be trying very hard to make other people see you in a very like negative light. Because I feel like there's a lot of scorn on um, bitter um vindictive energy here because you don't want to be with these individuals in the relationships romantically where that applies and then for other individuals um i just feel like these could be people who feel like because you don't want to deal with them whether family or other people who you don't want to collaborate with and work with in your work industry um or just people who see you as some type of competition because I'm getting competitive energy as well too. Like people could see you as a threat. Um, that that could be why they're doing this as well too. So for those of you with significant placements of cancer in your birth chart, we have the hermit energy. So this could be someone who has very strong Virgo placements in their birth chart. Other zodiac sign energies we have is Virgo. So reconfirming that. Pisces and Scorpio we also have the energies of an ex so this could be your ex or someone else's ex we have an aunt here so this could be your aunt someone else's aunt someone you look at like an aunt there could be someone who um, I'm hearing could be someone who recently had a baby boy and or um, this could be someone who you have a, a baby boy with so for some of you, um, there, there's also complicated energy here. And the reason why it's complicated is because this could be someone who you thought you reconciled with and you thought you smoothed things over with. So there could have been some type of falling out that you had with this particular individual. And you, you, this would be someone who you think you're cool with or who you're on good terms with. But it seems like, no, this person still has um, a secret beef with you, okay? I'm literally getting the energy of if someone is on your ass. So I feel like there is someone who you have pissed off um, who is on your ass. I mean, a period. That's what I'm getting. Like so someone is on you because there is something that you did to this individual. And for a lot of you, like I said, this could be this, the very individual who you reconciled and you made up with. For some of you, this could be someone who you still deal with, you know what I'm saying? And you may think you're cool with this individual. For others of you, you may not even talk to this individual anymore, but they still have some type of beef against you, even though you, you've you made up with this person, is what I'm getting. So I, I feel like someone still feels some type of way towards you. Um, it's almost like whoever this is, I'm kind of getting like, regardless you got an enemy for life is what I'm getting so it's almost like this person is not letting up on you because there's something still tying you and this individual together even though the two of you may not be like currently close together anymore is what I'm seeing so for some of you you're not even close with this person like that anymore and you thought like shit was good and you went your separate way and Maybe y'all made amends, you were cool with this person, and it's like, no, this person still hates you. And then for others of you, um, this is someone who is still, like, closely associated and attached with you. And they're, 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 they're fucking up your, your money. And that could be the reason why they stay close to you, to do the black magic on your finances, and then to see how this is impacting you. So some of y'all, y'all got someone who is keeping you close but they see you as an enemy and that's so they can make sure that you're getting um that that this is impacting you essentially that it's working and then for others of you if this was a situation where maybe you turn someone down like some type of work opportunity or you turn down someone um maybe offering some type of assistance to someone or something like that um this could be an individual who is doing the black magic on your finances as well too because I feel like they're trying to get you to change your outlook or your perception on some type of situation pertaining to that one of those or maybe both of those situations 
Okay, next. So for those of you with significant placements of Leo in your birth chart, we have the Ten of Swords and the Four of Wands. So I feel like um, some of you have individuals with significant placements of Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, significant Earth and Air placements in their birth chart. We also have the Zodiac sign energy of Capricorn here. We have the energy of an uncle. So it could be your uncle, someone else's uncle, or someone you see as an uncle. Um, we have the energy of a boyfriend. So it could be your boyfriend, um, someone else's boyfriend, or who you are the role of a boyfriend to. Um, it could be someone who is having legal issues. Okay. It could be someone who is divorced or someone who you are divorced from or currently going through a divorce with it could be um someone who you are married to okay or another married individual we also have the energy of someone who is grieving the loss so um it could be someone who is um mourning some type of death okay i'm hearing whether this is past or present so it doesn't have to be a recent death it could be someone who has um, been dealing st still grieving from something that they have never fully recovered from and then I also have an elderly energy here okay I'm also getting the energy here I have family so this definitely could be family um, family members or individuals who you live in a house with so these could be individuals in your household um, I feel like um, this could be individuals as well too where they are either their career is like over or they feel like they lack some sense of um, creativity to revive their career so this could be individuals that I'm seeing because I'm hearing last leg so someone could be on their last leg when it comes to their career okay um, this could be someone who's down maybe um doing bad right now like so financially they're in a a bad situation um that's what i'm seeing but i feel like whoever this is this person is really hurting um and doing really bad right now i'm also hearing this could be someone who um secretly competes with you and someone who has backstabbed and betrayed you several times before so this could be someone who you've given over like 10 plus opportunities to like reconcile with and they continue to stab you in the back each and every time so for some of you as well too um when i'm hearing last leg this could be the situation where maybe someone did something that was like the final straw and you're done with them or this could be something where this person is going to do something um that is apparent to you who this is and it's going to be the last straw for you I'm just getting some energy around someone doesn't want to see you happy or to see you be successful so this could be the type of individual because they're doing bad they're down they're out this could be someone who's broke um or someone who's just completely lost everything and they don't want to see you happy or successful or living a great life because it seems like because they're doing bad right now like your life is still in a very i'm hearing shambles their life could be in shambles right now especially financially um, so they could see you doing well or that you're very well taken care of. Um, you're secure, you, you're sound, you're doing well, you're thriving, you're happy. Your household could be very, you know, doing very well for yourself. Um, or you're just getting some type of support from individuals that they're not getting. And, um, I feel like this individual, this person is jealous of you. I keep getting that this person is secretly jealous of you. Okay, I am hearing favorite cousin, so this definitely is reiterating the fact that this definitely could be some type of family dynamic or family energy that's doing this towards you. So this could be another cousin or something like that, um, or they're just seeing you as being in the role of a favorite cousin, you know, whatever their role to or relationship to you is. But I'm also getting a situation where these individuals are seeing you just still continue to like flourish and get opportunities okay 
and see things happen for you in your life. I'm hearing this is really disturbing to them. It's disturbing to them that they're taking L's or that their life has fallen apart and things are um, happening for you. Yeah, I'm definitely seeing someone count your pockets and they are um, seeing like that things are flourishing for you. And I'm getting magically, so I don't know, someone just feels like you're getting something very magically or there's something magical around what is occurring in your life. I'm also seeing as well too um, that this could be individuals that don't want to see you be able to move. So this could be something about you about to purchase your own home um, or purchase another home or purchase some type of um, maybe rental property um, or just even just relocate. But I'm, I'm seeing this could be someone also trying to um, delay that or impede that from occurring. And then I'm also seeing as well, too, there's something here about marriage for you all. So um, I'm hearing honeymoon. Maybe some of you are about to take a honeymoon um, and someone could be trying to negatively impact that and ruin that. This could be individuals who you are telling your plans to. So that could be another indicator of who these individuals are that you will know. These are people who you like tell your business to. OK, um, they would they would know or unless you're posted this on social media. So. OK. Um, but yeah, this definitely could be people who you are, what's the word, voluntarily given this information to. And then, um, this also could just represent a situation where someone doesn't want you to be able to have a marriage is what I'm getting. So whether you're currently married or you're about to get married and you're engaged or just the potential of you being able to do this. And then lastly, it could also just be the fact that someone um, is jealous of the fact that you still get some type of support in some manner. So for some of you, this could be the fact that you're taken care of by your husband. Some of you could be already married and you could live a life where maybe you get to stay at home and your husband takes care of you. Or you could be a stay at home father as well, too. But either way, I just feel there is some sense of you being taken care of. Um, that these individuals don't like this also could be a situation because we did have the energy of someone grieving a loss um, could be a situation where you may be getting some type of um, inheritance okay I thought I was done one more thing and then I just, I just heard daddy's little girl so for some of you you could be getting um, your your daddy could like pamper you or spoil you um, in some type of way so that could be the other reason why these individuals are doing it because you're your daddy's favorite okay so for those of you with significant placements of Virgo in your birth chart we have the Empress energy so this could entail I'm getting very strong motherly energy so this could be your own mother um, but as far as zodiac sign energies, this definitely could be individuals who hold the energies of Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and Libra. That was a lot that came through. <laughs> and then the energies that um, came out for the zodiac signs, we have Aries here. Um, this also could be a father so your father or someone you look at like a father or someone else's father um, it could be someone who you are the father to okay or someone you have father kids with we have a brother energy so this could be your brother someone else's brother someone you see as a brother we have an uncle energy here it could be your uncle someone else's uncle someone you look at like as as an uncle we have a girlfriend energy here this could be your girlfriend or someone else's girlfriend or someone who you are in the role of a girlfriend too we have a co-worker energy so these could be people who you work with um, we have feminine um, female energy here so it could just be females um, we have <laughs> it could be teenagers um, as well as young adults is what I'm getting okay that was a lot and 
<sighs> okay, so Virgo, what I'm seeing is for a lot of you all, you have a lot of people on social media who do this towards you. Okay. Okay, so I just wanted to clarify the Empress energy because I just felt guided to do so. So what I was getting is that, um, oh yeah, I have the Page of Sides, the Eight of Wands, the Seven the seven of swords and the eight of pentacles come up so essentially what i'm getting from that energy is these are people who like watch everything that you do once again going back to that social media energy um but even if these are people who like are related to you or who you you know who you associate with who you fuck with you know what i'm saying um i feel like these people watch every single little thing that you do these are people who i feel like you stay in regular like conversation with okay so these could be people who keep up with you. They check in on you frequently and see how you're doing. Um, but I'm also seeing that these people don't actually like you um, is what I'm seeing. They talk about you behind your back. Um, and they're in secret competition with you in your, like what you do for money. Whatever it is that you do for money, they're in secret competition with you. I'm, I also was getting the energy that they swagger Jack. So whatever type of swag that you have, these are people who like watch everything you do and they like copy you to the T. Okay, so I feel like another reason why these individuals do it, I feel like they want to be many versions of you. That's that's number one. Okay, they want to be you. They want your place. They want your spot. You could have something that's on lock that people want so yeah but that's essentially what i get whoever these individuals are it's like they want your spot period they want your spot so for those of you with significant placements of Libra in your birth chart, we have the Three of Pentacles and the Four of Swords. So for some of you, you could be dealing with individuals who have significant placements of Earth placements in their birth chart, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. We also have the Zodiac sign energies here of Aquarius, Gemini. It could be a mother, someone who is your mother, um, someone else's mother, someone you look at like a mother someone you have mother kids with it could be a father your father someone else's father someone you view as a father someone you father kids with it could be a brother energy such as your brother someone else's brother or someone you look at like a brother there could be an uncle energy someone you look at like an uncle someone who is your uncle someone else's uncle it could be friends and associates or the friends of associates of the individuals who are interested in um having this black magic done on your finances and then it could be <laughs> mistress or mister energy so however that applies to you whether you are the mistress or mister or that mistress or mister that you have that is yours so right away libra the message that came through as soon as i flipped the cards over is these people are basic so you could view these people as basic or maybe they just are basic people now i'm hearing mediocre okay so these <laughs> these may be people that you know these could be people who you see as um being mediocre okay so for a lot of you you have broken away from these individuals i'm getting a past energy so these are individuals from your past that have this invested interest in um, doing these tactics of black magic towards your finances. I see this energy of you breaking off, breaking away, becoming like freeing yourself from these individuals. So these could be like low vibrational, toxic people that you became like aware of that were just not good for you in general, or they weren't good to do business with, or they um, just weren't good for you um, in some form or fashion because they could you you could have noticed that they were negatively impacting you being able to make money so these could be people who you've already cut yourself free from that's what i'm getting this is something that you've already done okay so what i'm getting as well too these could be people who want to work with you still so despite the fact that um you've moved on you've released yourself from these individuals you feel like you no longer resonate or associate with these these individuals for the reasons that you have um 
I feel like I, I'm hearing good for business because you feel like these individuals are not good for business. Okay. Um, so I feel like these individuals still want to work with you. Okay. So these could be people who still write, um, write you. Okay. They still, they could reach out to you. They could write to you. They could, you know, try to stay in contact with you. They could ask people to put in good word with you so that they could get some type of, um, opportunity with you or that they could just maybe rekindle a connection or a relationship with you to be in your good graces is what I'm getting. But I feel like a lot of you have like, um, isolated yourself from these individuals you could have blocked these individuals from being able to contact you um but i'm getting like a freezing type of icing out energy that you've done towards these these individuals so th I, f I feel like that's the thing they don't like that they cannot get in contact with you that they can't have access to you so that is the thing that i'm getting um which is like their major reason they don't appreciate the fact that they can't have access to you in the manner that they used to have access to you or that you don't want to be bothered with them and that you are not relating to them or that you're not trying to relate to them is what I'm seeing I'm hearing they want to bring you down a notch so that whoa okay so i'm getting the energy of like if i can't have you if i can't work with you then these are people who are like very um vengeful and spiteful and they want to essentially stop your back like if you don't want to have a relationship with them okay if these are family members it's like well they want to fuck up your your ability to make finances if you don't want to work with these individuals in some form or fashion or give them some type of opportunity then it's like well then they want to fuck up your your opportunities i feel like a lot of these individuals are just jealous as well too of just the type of position that you are in you seem to have some type of favor in some form or fashion i'm not going to really get too much into that but i see you having y'all have some type of favor okay and i feel like these individuals are constantly preying on your downfall but at the same time they still want to work with you and have some type of relationship with you which is um very contradictive because it doesn't make sense that these are the same people who are betraying you and talking sh shit about you is what i'm seeing but yet they still want to have a relationship with you and they want to work with you um it doesn't make sense um but i see because a lot of you all walk with truth honor and justice on your side like i said y'all got some favor on y'all um they don't like that as well either but it seems to be a problem with these individuals that you choose to have peace and solitude versus address and deal with these individuals or work with them or do business with them or have a relationship with these individuals and that seems to be you know a lot of where this all stems from as well too just it's jealousy and hatred that they can't just be in your energy field okay so last we have those of you with significant placements of scorpio in your birth chart so we have the three of pentacles we have the four of swords so these could be individuals that have oh just kidding <laughs> that was for libra we have the star card and we have the nine of pentacles so it could be someone who has very strong significant aquarius placements um but these could be other well-known individuals in the spotlight or who have some significant sense of popularity and things of that nature. This could be someone who is, um, yeah. So yeah, these could be, for those of you who are, I guess, popular or in the spotlight or you are a star or a rising star, these could be other individuals who are like competing with you, okay? Okay, and I'm also hearing these could be people who were in your class. So, this could have been an instance where maybe they were popular way back then, and now you have exceeded them, is what I'm seeing. So, it's almost like people looking back in the day, talking about how they used to be more popular than you, is what I'm getting. Okay. 
um i also heard tuna okay so we're just gonna put this out there and i got permission to say it so it could be someone who you know smell like tuna boom moving on um i also have the energy of an aunt so it could be your aunt someone else's aunt someone you see as an aunt it could be someone who you have a baby boy with um, or someone who recently had a baby boy it could be your uncle someone you view as an uncle someone else's uncle it could just be females in general um, it could be people who you work with I'm hearing people in your related field of career as well it could be your girlfriend someone um, else's girlfriend or whoever you are the playing the role of girlfriend too it could be someone who y'all have a baby girl with um, it could be someone who is middle age and it could be teenagers so this definitely could be the individuals like maybe who you went to school with that you grew up with maybe they thought you weren't going to be anything and now you have surpassed them because they once at one point in time were popular maybe these are even individuals who used to pick on you and make fun of you and um yeah and now you're very popular also i'm seeing as well too these could be maybe individuals that you started off in the same like position or role as and now you've exceeded and passed them in some form or fashion okay in whatever career field that you have um so i'm seeing a lot of individuals like kind of look at you like as um having some type of position that they thought that they were going to have or some type of position at one point in time that they used to get or like attention that they used to get so you're getting a whole lot of attention that these people used to get okay or that they just want you know um so that could be that as well too that these people just for some of you as well too it could just be people who have never even been in a role related to what you do it's just people who just want what you have pure point blank okay they want what you have without having to have done what you did to get to where you are is what i'm hearing okay what i'm also hearing is fortune favors the brave so there could have been some type of calculated risk or just some type of risk that you took and you bet on yourself and now it's paying off so these could also be people who were the ones talking about you weren't gonna be shit or just always talking about you and now they're seeing something come into fruition and pay off for you i'm hearing big dividends so that could be something as well too that um, is the reason why they're doing these tactics of black magic and get your finances because essentially they want to make themselves look right you know what i'm saying they look stupid all of a sudden now because they were the same ones talking shit about you talking down on you or telling you telling you to your face that you weren't going to be shit or talking about you maybe behind your back as well too saying that you weren't going to be shit or arise or amount to anything okay so now they look stupid so now all of a sudden they have to resort to doing this to kind of justify the shit that they previously said about you that you have surpassed now and then I'm also getting these could have been individuals where they passed up the opportunity when you went to them for some type of opportunity to work with them. This could even be individuals you wanted to or tried to heal and work things with these individuals. OK, and they they missed that boat. They didn't want to heal a situation with you. They didn't want to heal, work things out, talk things out. They didn't want to do the healing work to have a connection with you. Or they didn't want to work with you and give you an opportunity because they didn't see your potential. They didn't see your greatness. But now they do. And so they're salty is what I'm getting. Because you don't need them now is what I'm, I'm getting. I'm seeing you be very self-fulfilled and self-sufficient. And you are even have achieved some amount of financial freedom where you're doing very well for yourself so i feel like this is all um essentially the reason why they are doing black magic on your finances because you make them look stupid for the things that they said or did or the fact that they missed out on you know being in your life or, or reconciling or rectifying things that they had the opportunity to do 
okay so those are all the messages i have for you lovely beautiful people um i hope you enjoyed this hopefully this was very insightful and helpful for those of you if you would like to book a personal private session with me my website is www.divinelotustarot.com be blessed